pretty much range bound day for gold and silver as we discussed in the asia session update that 1932 2350 levels you should watch out for precisely try to breach both gold and silver try to breach this levels failing to sustain immediately bounce back at the same time gold it is yet to make an attempt to break past 1940 levels the only level where we can buy and it is always falling shy of 1940 so far and this uh, same time silver is not making any attempt to go bullish so what to expect which position you should take trading gold and silver we will see with the help of charts and indicators first we'll look into gold followed with silver do watch till the end let's start look at gold on the hourly charts you can find out it is almost trading within the box between 30 and 40 and this makes 30 and 40 as a no trade zone only above 1940 you can still expect it to get a little resistance now see uh, though the next level of resistance for gold is very nearby at around 43 levels but then 1943 1946.5 and 1950 are three important resistance level any rise above 1950 is where we can say that more bulls will try to pitch in and you can see it is getting a stronger resistance here in this zone now if you look at the stock elastic this is also retraced a bit near to overbought levels macd is divergent and bullish it is looking upwards on the hourly charts rsi is also looking upwards so bullish indications here however we have hardly seen any move in gold and silver in gold specifically if you look at see on the two hour charts drop retracement drop retracement yes the bearishness is getting diminished here that is important point now it is trying to consolidate i'll wait for the breakout above 1940 that is the point above which little more bullishness however only rise above 1950 will make it a, a reversal the stock is still rising macd willing to cross over see it is crossed over but trading with hardly any divergence so we'll see if this candle try to diverge and more bullishness is seen then you can expect that possibly it is trying to reverse a bit on the upside rsi looking upwards here on the 3 hour charts if you look similar observation on the 3 hour chart there was sharp drop retracement drop retracement drop consolidation so it is just consolidating wait for the breakout stock is still rising macd is still bearish it is willing to converge crossover it is not yet seen any crossover yet but yes it has seen a good enough journey till minus, uh, minus 6 levels possibility of a rise exists from here rsi is flat near to bottom coming to 4 hour now see on the 4 hour charts higher lows higher highs so possibly we may see 40 to 43 in fact i'll be looking forward for it to uh, hit the zone at 45 uh, which is the good resistance this is 20 period moving average now what we saw on the early chart the 20 period moving average giving it a little resistance at 1940 so and yes it has achieved 1940 levels and this time if you look at the 4 hour charts you will find 1945 as the 20 period moving average so possibly it could try to attain these levels and uh, this Uh, gold may try to attempt these levels for once this is definitely a good resistance level any rise above 50 55 zone is where the reversal is confirmed till then do not think it of as of for gold as a reversal stock has tick oversold trying to recover macd is still bearish it has seen minus 6 levels here possibly it should converge a bit and cross over and hence little bullishness cannot be denied rsi trading at bottom here coming to the daily now on the daily charts you have already seen multiple times i have told you see bull uh, bu pole flag formation here now look beautifully here one important thing has happened today see these two and these three these three candles how beautifully they are aligned and precisely uh, gold has reversed from the same levels almost hence 1930 becomes a very important and also if you look at the formation what gold has done see drop retracement drop retracement drop so a retracement can be expected now the top of this channel is at around 55 60 levels and this makes this zone as a very important resistance zone yes it could prob probably retrace a bit even if it has to trade bearish it has to retrace how far it could retrace if it stays above 1940 you can expect 44 46 see till 46.5 levels it has got very very good resistance for it first at 43 then at 46 and then at 50 so till 50 i will definitely watch out for and it has a probability for it to rise till 50 that is also there so you cannot deny this that it is only trading bearish it has a, it has a probability for a rise till 1950 as well a stock is tick is oversold macd is trading with divergence and bearishness and rsi is also trading near to bottom considering this i will recommend you to sell gold at 1930 once it breaks below 1930 now remember one fact which i have been telling every time see this consolidation zone 1925 1910 or you can say uh, 1900 so th there is a very strong zone which exists here at 1910 1925 and 1930 this zone is very very important only and only if it breaks below this zone you can say that gold is going to turn bearish as it is coming from the lower 
levels from here it can possibly continue with the downturn here so we have to watch out for how it behaves at around these levels and hence if you are selling at 1930 you have to be careful of 1924 1918 1910 levels very very good support in between these levels suggest here take your trades accordingly and on the upside above 40 you can buy however till 50 we have to be watchful 55 and 60 the next resistance zone this is also very important above 60 it is reversal chances are less for that take your trades accordingly now let's say we look at silver and before we proceed couple of offerings and couple of requests if you are new to the channel press the bell icon stay tuned with the twice a day analysis the next update will be released before the europe and asia session do watch that also and yes do like share subscribe and comment do press the bell icon that is always a great motivation and yes uh, my next batch, that is 24th batch, is going to start on 7th of August. Only a couple of seats are left. We have extended the seats and the seats are full and the request for more. Still, you can join in. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now, let's have a look at silver on the early charts. Now, see silver on the early charts. 23.50, a great support. 23.60, a great resistance here. 60 70 80 yes above 80 is where the bulls will take over it is falling shy of 60 as of now it is falling shy of 2350 also it is not willing to break below 2350 that is what i can sense here a stochastic flag magd is has crossed over trading at bottom possibly it could diverge with a, a, a strong bullish momentum here that is my expectation rsi is also trading oversold it can come out of the oversold zone soon coming to two hour charts now on the two hour charts look at the formation drop retracement drop retracement now see when you see such kind of retracement you can possibly uh, such kind of consolidation you can possibly expect such kind of formation where it may try to achieve the highs which are right now situated at around 2380 24 dollar level so what i mean is see uh, this is the top of this channel this is the bottom of this channel now the highs of this channel at around uh, 24 and 24 20 so i will be definitely watchful if it stays about 23 80 we can expect it to hit 24 24 20 levels if not today possibly by tomorrow stochastic oversold magd is extremely bearish bearish trying to converge here rsi is also extremely oversold and hence a chance of recovery exists here on the three hour charts if you look at the three hour charts see first thing is look at this candles here the bearishness is getting diminished certainly a smaller body size is seen 2350 is a great support 60 is giving a great resistance i will wait for 60 70 80 and above 80 is where the bullishness will be seen you can buy at 60 but then you have to be cautious see when i say 2360 it has to be this price excluding of the spreads here so that is the price selling price is where you should buy at 2360 so eliminate the spreads here and then take the position a stochastic is oversold trying to rise macd is extremely bearish it can converge a bit rsi is also trading oversold coming to four hour now on the four hour charts remember one fact see previous candle was an indecision candle and this candle has given lower highs it can completely go on the downside and show a very strong bearish candle that is also very much possible because see it is trying to form a formation a big bearish candle indecision then a bearish candle then indecision now it trying trying to rise and hence once you see it trading below 2350 that is also uh, the buying sh price should be below 2350 then you can consider that it is trying to trade bearish and below that you can see it drop till 2340 2320 levels and on the upside we have to be careful of 2380 above which we can expect 24 24 20 levels the stochastic is oversold macd is bearish trying to converge and rsi is also oversold coming to the daily charts now if you look at the daily charts see the rise in silver has started here at 2310 2320 levels and we have seen silver trading bullish since then achieving higher highs now it is trying to retrace also if you look at the formation here you will find uh, that it has come out of the channel or it is trading at the support levels see uh, it is still to be considered a bullish flag if it breaks out on the upside if it stays about 2450 any point of time you should treat this as a reversal right now you can see two big bearish candle and this is the third candle in formation also one must note that this candle is outside bullinger bands and hence it can show a pullback a stochastic oversold make the extremely divergent and bearish looking downwards and rsi is also looking down suggestive of bearishness and hence you can buy 2360 so when i say buy 2360 this selling price should be 2360 and above you can buy here expect 70 and 80 only above 80 you can expect that it is trying to reverse and we may see 24 24 20 levels still 24 24 20 we have to be watchful on the downside you can sell here at 23 40 levels and 2350 uh, levels here below 2350 you can still expect it to get the support at 2340 and below that we may see 24 
ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी लेवल्स विच इज़ अ ग्रेट सपोर्ट एंड देन ट्वेंटी थ्री टेन ट्वेंटी थ्री टेन ट्वेंटी इज द पॉइंट फ्रॉम वेयर द रैली हैज स्टार्टेड अर्लियर हैंस दिस जोन बिकम्स क्रिटिकल सो टेक योर ट्रेड्स अकॉर्डिंगली ट्रेड विद द स्टॉप लॉस ट्रेड विद द ट्रेलिंग स्टॉप लॉस डू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट डू प्रेस द बेल आइकन एंड जॉइन माई मेंटरशिप बैच जॉइन माई सिग्नस चैनल रीच आउट टू मी फॉर एनी ऑफ योर ट्रेडिंग और ट्रेनिंग क्वेरीज ऑल्सो जॉइन माई फ्री टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज मैंशन इन द चैनल एंड वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन थैंक यू वेरी मच एव ए ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग डे है